we're sending a direct and personal message of thanks to the extraordinary disability resource group and network leaders around the globe who took part in Purple Light Up. As you know, Purple Light Up is a celebration of the economic contribution of employees with disabilities and really our mark of respect to the United Nations International Day of Persons with Disabilities. This year at Purple Space, we encouraged our community to participate in our leader to leader theme, where we invited ERG leaders to create their own videos and really to get into conversation with their CEO or their C-suite leaders about the qualities of great leadership, as well as the progress that they're making when it comes to disability inclusion. And the themes from these conversations, in my mind, were threefold. One, the need for decisive leadership, uh, really epitomised by the disability resource groups. It's never been more necessary for us, I suppose, as disabled employees to lean into the process of leading change. In fact, resource groups are fast becoming the number one vehicle to drive internal change. They support our businesses to focus on the right things in the right order and in the right way. And they support employees with disability to be themselves, to be ourselves, and to be, I suppose, unapologetic in our experience of being human. They epitomise the change we need to see in this world. The second theme is about flexible and imaginative leadership. The COVID pandemic continues to disrupt our lives and indeed our livelihoods. And it's the resource groups that are leading responsible business practice in the creation of sustainable hybrid working practices. There is no way back when it comes to not offering flexibility in how we need to work. And the third theme that, that I've seen is that of leadership where it displays vulnerability uh, and kindness and the sharing of our stories in, in a purposeful way, which makes that happen. Purple Light Up really makes it easier for us to share stories of difference in ways that support audiences across the globe to think, to feel and to do things differently. We were so impressed, so deeply impressed by the way in which ERG leaders supported by their chief execs are helping to drive a richer, a more joyous and a more realistic and I suppose a more sophisticated understanding about the experience of disability or mental ill health or neurodiversity. They're creating safe spaces to feel more able to relax into our many identities as humans. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was just so wonderful. So I'm joined by, at the moment, Gavin Bounds. We've got Graham Moffat too. Graham, who's chair of, Graham, who is our Purple Light Up campaign director. Gavin, the chair of Purple Space. Um, Gavin, what are the main things that you've noticed from this year's Purple Light Up? Yeah, thank you, Kate. It's great to be here. Um, I guess following on from your three themes, um, there are three areas that really kind of stand out for me um, during 2021. I think the first is the fact that so many CEOs and C-suite leaders want to support their resource groups and their resource group leaders. Um, now, that might be about how they're resourced or how they're recognised or, or even how they're rewarded. Um, so we saw during 2021 LinkedIn um, announced that they would be paying their ERG leaders $10,000 yearly. Um, I expect that will uh, remain atypical. However, you know, they're, they're really to be commended for recognising um, the many hours uh, and the really hard work that resource leaders, uh, resource group leaders have to put in to the task of delivering uh, for their organisations um, and for, you know, the, what they do for leading around responsible business practice. You know, they do all of this um, from the sides of their desks um, they do it in addition to uh, often very demanding um, day jobs. Um, so I, I'm, I'm really pleased as well that uh, Leader to Leader has made it possible to open up those conversations even further. Um, and I guess I would ask every CEO to notice the power of resource groups um, and ask themselves, when did you last thank them for their work?
The second standout theme for me uh, is how much ERG leaders are enjoying the connection um, that they have with each other. I'm really proud that we've been able to help create and shape that connection and enable that networking. Next year, we'll do even more. Um, in 2022, we launch our Futurist program. Um, this is very exciting. It's a groundbreaking scheme that will help to build the capacity and capability of ERGs by us delivering targeted networkology leadership know-how. We'll be inviting employers to invest and collaborate in the future, futurist strategy and program of work. And of course, we'll continue to work closely with our friends at the ILO to, uh, to ensure we can make our collateral freely available to emerging networks across the world. Um, and then in 2023, I'm, I'm hopeful that the Futurist Group will help us convene disability ERG network leaders in a global summit of collaboration. Never been done before, never been seen before. And of course, we'll be looking for help. So, uh, so that's really exciting. There's more to come on the Futurist program, uh, everybody, so, uh, so watch out. Finally, I was struck um, by how wonderful the colour purple looks in the night sky. Um, we saw hundreds of iconic buildings turn purple as organisations called out their support to employees with disability. From New Zealand and Australia, across uh, Asia Pacific, Europe, Middle East and North and South America, it's a, it's a call to action. Uh, it's a celebration and it's a desire for employees to shape their story of change, to lead their story of change. So they're my three uh, three thoughts, I guess, um, Kate. Um, great to be speaking with you and uh, thanks to everybody for your support in 2021. That was my summary. Now, I, I guess I'll, I'll go straight to Graham. Um, so Graham, we, we really got much to thank you for. Um, you've directed this year's campaign um, and thank you so much for that. What, what's been the main impact of Purple Light Up this year? Thank you, Gavin. I'm Truly impressed by the work of the disability ERGs the world over, uh, blown away by some of the messages we've heard. And I, I want to kind of go through some of the, the ones that stood out for me. So I enjoyed the New South Wales Department of Communities and Justice in Australia. We heard Jacqueline Duncan talk about the significant impact of employee-led disability networks on the attitudes and the awarenesses within the organisation. We heard from Peter Henry, a network rail chair in the UK, who was talking to Lucy Cashin at the Can Do Network, calling out the fact that it's the absence of consideration that can often get in the way. Sally, J uh, sorry, Sally Jackson from GSK, a global pharmaceutical company, talked to Purple Space Ambassador Andy Garrett, co-chair of their Dis Disability Confident Network with Tracy Mitchelson. Sally talked about it's the little things every day all of us, sorry, if all of us were just thinking with a lens of people that aren't experiencing life in the exact same way as us, then we may make a more inclusive world. The Four Purple Network at Channel 4, headed up by Corey Brown and Nicole Stephen, talked to CEO Alex Mahan. They talked about purposeful leadership and not just creating safe spaces and using resource groups to ensure that they are not just getting stuff done, but getting stuff done that matters. Natalia Lakowski, Global Neurodiversity and Advancement Leader at IBM, spoke to Howard Bovel, Senior Le Vice President of IBM's Cloud Platform, to discuss the impact and success of their Allies programme. They had a true two-way conversation with Natalia, highlighting how important it is to place neurodivergent voices at the forefront of the conversation. We also saw the Access Network at Lloyds Banking Group launch a recognition programme for its role models and allies. Big shout out to James Roberts who, for being recognised uh, for, for this, for being recognised through this for his great work. James was one of the first people we spoke to. Lovely fella and massive congratulations, James. And finally, from the video Nat West produced, we heard an expression that sums up the lived experience of people with disabilities. It's the society we live in and not the condition that disables someone. Kate, I'll pass back to you. What are your final thoughts for Purple Light Up? Wonderful. Graham, wonderful. We were all so blown away by so many, many conversations. And that's a, you know, a beautiful chop through of just a tiny amount of incredible conversations that we heard across the, the, the world. So for me, as we close, look, 
We used to say that the third phase of change had just begun, where employees with disability build in a confidence, lean in to our careers and create meaningful conversations about how to get ahead at work. Uh, the creation of high performing disability ERGs and networks uh, being at the vanguard of this movement. And I think it's more than maturing. You know, leader to leader resulted in a cacophony of conversations on the social media from across the world that really brings to life the importance of open dialogue and having a strong connection between chief executive or executive sponsor and the disability ERG leader uh, and how that can really make the difference when it comes to driving internal culture change. Uh, and helping networks to achieve against their objectives. So look, as we close this year's activities, we, we offer a new publication, uh, Priceless, which shares some ideas about how resource, how you can resource networks, how you can recognise those leaders and how you can reward disability ERG leaders. So if you're not a member and you, you want to get your hands on that resource, then just set an email to kerry at purplespace.org. And I suppose I just quickly close with some thanks. First to you, Graham, extraordinary leadership flanked by the incredible Alex Taylor and the whole of the HSBC Secondi team. Uh, your capacity has supported Purple Space to really deliver an exceptional purple light up and you have much to be proud of. Um, and also, of course, our thanks to Ian Stewart, uh, the Chief Executive of HSBC UK and Alia Cooper. Our thanks too to all of our friends, our partners, our allies across the world and I suppose specifically those who helped to prepare the promo uh, video and George over at Whippersnapper because that really triggered more conversations across the world. So thank you for all leaning in there. Uh, but mostly we end on a thanks to disability ERG leaders who work tirelessly, tirelessly to build a better working world. Uh, they lead fresh and important global movements in the story of disability rights. Of course, we know that this is not about the actions of one day. It's about intent and it's about action each and every day. So thank you to everybody who took part. Um, for us, it's back to business. Uh, in January, we keep on going, delivering the world's uh, only community of disability ERG leaders. There's much to be done. Uh, and we have great, very great pleasure and pride in, in being part of your world. So for the moment, rest up and we look forward to seeing you very, very soon.